So here I am at South Asheville Baptist Church in Asheville, North Carolina, obviously. And this is a church that my grandparents went to and my father went to from the time he was six to the time that my father was uh, like 22 or something. Um, but I don't know what that flag is right there, but some other family would come here when they would visit. Um, something different that you see on this side of the country is that, you know, there's a lot more brick places of worship because obviously you'd want your place to survive the storms. But if you notice those windows, they're kind of like the windows, the, the pattern in them is kind of like the windows at the George's Creek Baptist Church that I showed earlier. But I guess there's sort of an angel up there, but I don't believe in the angels having wings like birds. I think there's even things in the Bible that makes clear that it goes beyond that sort of thing. And I don't believe in male and female angels. That's sort of a Christian thing to believe that. Well, I, I do, but not the Malak, you know, the, the light beings. Um, but... I don't know whether this is a Baptist church where they would rebaptize people, um, but they definitely would have felt they were guided in one way or another, um, very specifically, rather than their own interpretation. I don't know what the other entrances are here, but you see that same sort of design, that circle bit. And maybe there's something, a scripture passage or something, some windows like that have that, but I don't know what's, those may just be colored windows. They seem to follow all the same pattern there. Um, might as well say, but Mark 12, 28, through 30 and 12, 32 through 34 makes it the case that there's only one God who is not Jesus. And Luke 8, 40 to 48 says that faith heals, but not Jesus. And you do find that there is that aspect of faith healing of all sorts of types. Um, some people say that there's a pyre is un, you know, those points on churches are sort of an unbiblical thing. Um, so Luke 18, 18 through 30 says that Jesus didn't want himself thought of as the good teacher, but wanted people to only call God that and to follow the commandments and become a renunciant in a sort of way in order to be saved. And John 20, 28 was obviously an exclamation instead of naming Jesus as God or Lord as such. Uh, John 17, 13 I'd have to agree with that in that life is in worship and only, you know, worshiping only God is one. Um, and John 8.31 kind of makes it like the disciples of Jesus were the only ones holding to his teachings, not the crowd. And um, Mark 5.2 21 related how Jesus 
encountered a Christian and proceeded to exorcise him. He later attra who later went and attracted crowds to Jesus instead. And Matthew 7:21-23 Calling Jesus a spiritual master is not uh, enough. And, of course, they should not do anything in his name. Um, so, if you overlook what Paul has to say, being saved through vicariously through the deeds of another is not quite what was going on here. Um, but... This one's been a bit more rambling than the other, but... So that's what I have to say about uh, a church that some of my family had gone to.